you're watching TCAC on Hexus TV. I'm Scott and this is Nick and we're discussing some of the hot topics that have come up on the R sites this week. Um, on the R sites? On the R, on the R sites. <laughs> <laughs> so, R sites. What yeah. do we think of R sites? Well, I think we should give them a plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah well, there's a lot to be said for that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> joking aside. Should we get serious now? Yeah, I'll start again. <laughs> Joking aside, the things that we've been discussing on our sites this week, right. one of which is uh, the naming of the next Intel processor to oh, come don't out. Tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, I know, I know, I know, I know, um, Nile, Sane, Rhone, uh, What are Gorge. you talking about? Well, they're, they're naming after rivers, don't they? Not necessarily. Yeah, they do, they name after rivers. Like what? Um, uh, yeah, thank the you. River Conroe. The River Conroe. River <laughs> Conroe. Well, this, yeah. one, this one is the brand name of the previously known as River Nehalem which is now being called I7, small i, number 7. Um, and that's led to much confusion as to how they came up with that name because it's a quad-core part, so not sure what 7's got to do with it and not sure what I's got to do with it either. So I thought, as you didn't even know this, Nick, what's your first impression of that? Is it something to do with the number of instructions that each core can work on? Because I oh. remember that AMD could do three instructions per clock cycle, whereas Intel can do four. So right. automatically any chip they bring out is 25% faster. Right. Or but that would no. still only make it five. If there's two cores, you add the two on. Oh, right. But no? Uh, no, no, that's not working. Well, it's a good no. try. It's a good no. try about anything no. I've managed. I said. Um, I, actually, I actually spoke to Seventh Intel about generation? it. Seventh generation? Don't think so. No. no, there has been some argument for that, but um, you could go back more generations than that if, if you wanted to. Um, and anyway, even if it was seventh generation, it would be pretty arbitrary. They've never named um, processes after which generation it was before, and that doesn't mean anything to normal consumers. So I think that's a bit arbitrary, and the I seems to be pretty arbitrary as well. I for Intel. Well, yeah, there is that. But there's also I in that we stick I before everything ever since Apple started doing it, isn't it? Uh, so we've got BBC so they're, I going, player. They're, going, they're going after the Mac users then? Well, it could be, because Intel, granted, this particular part isn't necessarily intended for that, but Intel's quite big on, on sort of handheld well, devices. Well, Apple did the G7, didn't they? Right, yeah. There, there, was, there was a G4 and a G7. Yeah, but that was the sort of generational thing, wasn't yeah. it, for them? yeah. I'm not sure. It, um, the, uh, what, what's good about it? OK, forget the naming. What, what's, what's good about it? OK, well, without getting too techy, it's, it's the latest iteration of their 45 nanometer um, architecture, which just promises to be better than what they're doing now. Maybe. Basically. Each production run, they're getting three spare, because seven goes into 45, leaving three. There we are. We'll sort no? it out. Anyway, assuming that's not it. OK. Um, the, the forum it probably isn't. The forums, uh, the, the Hexus community's had a fair few things to say about it. Yep. Um, one guy said, I think it's a terrible name, and one of our uh, regular forum posters, Biscuit, said, I don't understand how it's terrible, it's just a name for a product. I admit choosing an I is a bit cliched and the seven's a bit random, uh, as far as we know, but it's easy to remember and therefore has marketing uh, spot on right there. Uh, and there's been sort of various discussions as to whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, a lot of people are annoyed at this gratuitous use of the I, and they think it's just sort of copying Apple. No one can work out. What, what it, another amusingly named community member, Betty Swallox, said, uh, why does everything have to be I this and I that these days? What's the significance of it? Are they all just jumping on the iPod bandwagon? And there does seem to be some argument for that, obviously. It's going to be uh, a white chip. It's going to be packed to the brim with DRM. It's going to be a white chip, and it's going to be insufferably smug all the time. <laughs> <laughs> may, 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 maybe the first one goes to Steve Jobs. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, well, there is some argument for that because, of course, um, Intel and Apple are a lot closer mm. professionally than they were a few years ago. So there's definitely some argument it's for that. Merging of brands. Yeah. So, so we're going to have Intel and Apple merging. What will that make? Uh, is there any news on performance In, or anything like that? Impel. That's almost <sighs> nipple. No. Anyway, um, is there any news on what? Is there any news on performance or anything like that? No, we don't, we don't have benchmarks or anything like that, but it'd right. be very surprising if it wasn't uh, a pretty high, pretty uh, top performer. Okay. So I think uh, what we've concluded there really is between Nick and I and the Hexus community, we haven't really got any idea why they've chosen that name. It seems to be pretty arbitrary. It might be quite catchy, but it'd be nice to know why. If anyone else has any suggestions as to why Intel's chosen that name, then please feel free to chuck them our way. Or if you work for Intel, come and join our forums and tell us all, because we'd love to know. We? Yeah, we've got uh, we've got AMD people on the forums already. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, we could have a flame war. That'd be good. There we are. Yeah. Get it on. Fight, fight, fight. <laughs> anyway, um, we digress. Yeah. So, uh, so you've been watching Scott and Nick on TCAC on Hexus TV. See you next time. That's ITCAC actually. ITCAC, sorry. ITCAC seven. Yeah. There we go. <laughs>